Hello and welcome to the Slingshot Channel New Year's Eve Special 2020-21. So remember, this is the only time in the year where in Germany you are actually allowed to shoot firecrackers. These are guns that are extremely popular in Germany because these are blank firing guns. As you see, they look and feel like real guns, but they are just firing blanks. So the muzzle, sorry if I'm pointing a gun at you guys, <laughs> the muzzle is blocked and uh, for the revolver you can even see this more clearly. So I hope you can now see that the muzzle is blocked and also you can probably see that the chambers are blocked too and in a way that you cannot drill them out. So these are blank firing guns and they cannot really be converted into full firing guns, not without a lot of expertise and professional tools. These blank firing guns are extremely popular in Germany because you can buy them without a license. You just have to be 18 and older and you can even carry them in public if you have a permit and this permit is super easy to get. All you need to do is you need to apply and if you're of age and have no criminal record you will automatically be granted a license. No exams necessary, nothing like that. So almost 700,000 Germans and counting already have one of these. Therefore a lot of people are running around with uh, these guns. You could also shoot tear gas from those so a lot of people use it for self-defense. I have always been an opponent of these things. Why? Well, because I firmly believe that if you must carry something with you that looks like a gun, it better works like a gun. Means that it should be deadly. Since if you actually, you know, use this and produce this when you are attacked and the attacker has a real gun, he might open fire first at you and then you are done. So I think that if you must carry something for self-protection, then maybe tear gas or maybe a harpoon pistol, whatever, <laughs> would be the better option. Why am I showing you this? Well, because I have been approached by a weapons expert, actually a certified forensics expert, um, and he asked me um, if it is possible to take one of these guns and without any changes fire a 16 millimeter steel ball from them with enough force to make it deadly. Sorry for the rust. It's a common slingshot ammo for me. Well, the gentleman did not reveal to me why he needs my advice on this, but I assume it has to do with a criminal case where he is probably the forensics expert. Or maybe he is writing a book or a scientific review or an article or whatever. In any case, my question back was, did they find a blowgun next to the gun? <laughs> so this is a typical blowgun. In this case, it's one that's been given to me by the ex-owner of Cold Steel, Lynn Thompson. He just sold the company. Good for him. Probably bad for us. <laughs> in, in any case, so this is the big bore blowgun by Cold Steel. And it actually has a 16 millimeter diameter bore. And of course, you can also fire steel bolts from it, even though it's not designed for those. This is the typical ammo that you're supposed to shoot from this. And they also have hunting broadheads, uh, all steel, with just this little plastic cap. This is a bamboo one, also very nice. They also have a stun version and um, they actually shoot nicely from it. So let me fire into my firewood <laughs> or maybe in the cupboard next to it. So effective. and accurate and a lot of fun. <laughs> the question is what happens when you shoot a 60 millimeter steel ball from it? Well, it fits. And if you have uh, enough power in your lungs, it will actually also be quite effective. I certainly don't want to be hit by one. <laughs> but, but what happens if someone takes a blank firing gun and simply presses the muzzle against this like so and then fires the expanding gas that comes out of the muzzle will of course accelerate the projectile now if you use one of the standard darts from this actually it will blow it to pieces it will crumble the little plastic cap to dust so this won't work but a steel ball i think it will work so i am giving it a try but at this moment, I really want to warn you, don't do this at home, folks. 
because um, it is dangerous. I know what I'm doing. I've actually tested this uh, in a safe environment before I actually do this. So I know that I'm not going to hurt myself. But don't do it because it is dangerous. So uh, just be warned. And I'll be shooting against this wooden box. So I will be putting exactly one 9mm blank into the gun. Not overloading it. And then I'm going to shoot it. And for safety I'm going to wear gloves this time. Okay. <laughs> so I'm now putting in the steel ball. It's really a tight fit. Now I take my gun. I press the muzzle against it. Easy to aim. As you see the barrel is long enough. And then I... <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> so as you see it crashed right through the box uh, ammo is reusable <laughs> so this was definitely a shot and not just a throw so yes it is possible to shoot a 60 millimeter ball with a blowgun what happens if I shorten the barrel? This is possible because most blowguns are actually uh, built in a way that you can disassemble them for transportation. And this one is no exception. That's a long, long, long thread. Okay, now it's much shorter. Okay, and... Whoa! <laughs> So this time, as you can see, uh, it again penetrated. Uh, this hole is from another earlier test, but you can see the two dents that it created in the backside. So, um, so this is actually impressive, but is it really dramatic? No, because it's actually fairly weak in comparison. See, this is a Rambone slingshot. It's actually an early version. It's actually cast in aluminum and powder coated by Hogan's Castings in Sheffield. And now I'm taking the same bullet and I'm shooting it against the same box and then you can compare the difference in the outcome. Yeah. Seen enough? So this time it crashed right through the whole thing with ease. So why is this blank firing gun with the blow gun in front so much weaker than a normal slingshot? Well, for a number of reasons. First of all, there's a lot of pressure that will be dissipating out of the side because of course it's not a tight fit. And on the other hand also the caliber is way too big for the puny little uh, blank, you know, that I fire. It's just not a lot of power in there and therefore the pressure is very much within limits. It's still dangerous, I don't want to be hit by it, but, and it is more powerful than if you just use your lungs and blow out through the, uh, through the uh, blow gun. But um, the bullet is too heavy and the diameter is too large for it. But that of course doesn't stop people from doing all kinds of nasty things, because these steel tubes, actually these are seamless steel tubes, and if you look through they're of course not threaded because they're not made for guns, but they're just regular construction grade stuff. This can be bought on eBay and Amazon and in a million hardware stores. And uh, of course you can use, you can get them in any kind of diameter, you know, and again they have no seam, so they look like highly polished inside. And of course you can use those and just simply press the muzzle of your blank gun against them. So here I have one in 9mm, as you can see it's 9mm and pretty clean. Uh, the only thing that I've did is I attached this little steel handle to it so I can hold it with my hand, much like a cigar or something, to give me some purchase. But of course there is, there is uh, no chamber in it, no nothing. It's just an unchained length of pipe that you can buy anywhere. That in itself of course in Germany is not illegal. Okay, same goes for these lead balls. You can also get them in all kinds of diameters for muzzle loading guns. And again, this is unregulated and you can buy the mail order or in stores in Germany. The type that I've been choosing here is 9.19 millimeters. Um, so 362. This means that they will actually not roll through the 9 millimeter pipe but they will squeeze in a little bit so that it's not falling out of the muzzle when I'm using it. 
And um, therefore, in combination with the blank gun, this simple piece of construction pipe will turn the weapon into something really deadly. And now we're using the blank revolver, which is actually more like a collector's piece because it's really well made from Erma, uh, the company uh, closed shop many years ago. But they made like the best blank firing guns that I've ever seen in Germany. Actually, there is a model of this one here that costs now over 1000 euros because it's stainless steel. This one is, has a lot of steel components, but it's not that great. Still one of my favorite pieces in my collection. I'm loading in a single round, just one. Why would I need more? And um, of course, now I have to wear gloves because when I hold the barrel against this, then a lot of, even though this has a pretty tight fit here at the barrel, a lot of uh, fire uh, will come out of the, you know, between the barrel and the, uh, and the uh, drum. So um, this is something that I have to have gloves on. Okay, so I press this against it and again, you know, as you see, I'm not having anything changed, I haven't changed anything to the gun. Carefully cocking it. Now aiming is a little harder, as you can imagine, and pressing it really against, hard against it. And Whoa! <laughs> I think I hit the ladder behind it. Yes, I hit it high and it actually crashed through the rear side and then it dented the metal ladder here. And you can also clearly see, if the camera focuses right, that there is a little rim on the round ball and that is from the, uh, from the barrel that is a little more tight than the diameter of this ball. All right, I'm now gonna be shooting against this wooden board and I think that it will not crash so, but it will leave a nice dent. Uh, let's see what's gonna happen and then we can compare it with the slingshot. So guys, this is what happened and see what kind of board that is. Can you, oops. Can you see that this is certainly like almost an inch thick? It clearly crashed through. Now we're comparing it with the slingshot and as you can see I even had to close the center hole of my uh, pouch here with a little bit of duct tape because otherwise actually it will fall right through because for a slingshot like this, this is a small and lightweight ammo. Yeah. Yeah. It created a nice dent, but it, it did not go through. Clearly the effect of the blank firing gun with the short barrel was a lot more devastating than the effect of this slingshot that we know is a deadly weapon. <laughs> okay, now that we've done the shooting part of this video, we can go outside again. Beautiful snow today on the last day of 2020. In any case, what do we learn from this? First of all, we learned that from now on, the slingshot channel will be the most hated channel by owners of these uh, and lovers of these blank firing guns in Germany, since they're gonna crucify me for doing these experiments out of fear that they will actually tighten the law. And I think it will actually happen. I think there's a reason why in the UK, blank firing guns must not actually push the gas out from the muzzle, but through the top so that it is more safe, that it can't be used for, uh, you know, shenanigans like this. Because actually these are still dangerous guns, even if they don't fire a projectile. So as you see, it is very, very simple to uh, go and use ordinary stuff to turn those into deadly items. Now, will criminals do that? I don't really think so. Could I design something that would actually make it more practical, like a multi-barrel thing that you hold against it? Yes, it would be fairly easy. And uh, of course, they're also threading the muzzles for like uh, rockets uh, and stuff and, and flares, but um, that would be illegal to make. So if I would make a, a barrel that would actually screw on this, then I would need all kinds of permits and I'm not breaking the law in any way. 
So what is the conclusion of this? Well, first of all, these things are not toys and they should not be treated like toys. They should be treated like dangerous guns. And there is a reason why these forensics experts contacted me. Just because I think that they actually have uh, cases where people are using these blank guns for crimes, doing stuff that I've just shown you. So again, don't be too angry with me. <laughs> and I wish you all a happy new year. A wonderful 2021 where we'll hopefully be seeing the end of the corona pandemic. And um, in any case, I will do my best to also entertain you throughout 2021. So, thanks and bye-bye.